Hi, Chem 102 lab students. The goal of experiment 13 is to identify an unknown fatty acid by measuring how it depresses the freezing point of steric acid in solution. Part A was to prepare a water bath to boiling. This would be in the background. Parts B and C would be determining the freezing point of a pure sample of steric acid by melting and freezing the acid in triplicate. In part D, you are going to make three additions of an unknown fatty acid. And with each addition, measure the freezing point of the solution to determine how this unknown impacted the pure freezing point. We are going to use a cooling curve. After we have melted our steric acid or our fatty acid mixture, we place a thermometer into the solution and we monitor the temperature change as a function of time. As a solution freezes, the energy being released goes into changing the phase of the solution from a liquid to a solid. And so that's seen here in the curve by the plateau. As we create this curve, we observe a plateau in the temperature we know that is the freezing point of the pure or mixed solution. As we add more and more solute, we should observe the plateau at lower temperatures, hence the freezing point depression. From this, we can measure the freezing point and using the set of equations, we can determine the molar mass of our solutes or unknown. So those equations are shown here. For each trial, we will determine the change of freezing point by using this equation. We can use the freezing point depression equation. Delta T is equal to the negative I, which is your Van Hoff factor, which we know to be one, times KF, which is your Malau freezing point constant, and KF is known and lowercase m, which is molality. Molality is defined as the moles of solute over the kilograms of solvent. Using the known values, we can determine the molality of the unknown fatty acid in solution. We'd know the mass of the pure steric acid, so we can find the moles of the solute. From the moles of the solute, we know the mass of the addition that we made. The mass of the unknown fatty acid divided by the number of moles of the unknown fatty acid that we added to the solution will give us our molar mass. And we calculate that for each of our trials. We begin by boiling water, but then we need to weigh out our steric acid for parts B and C. Weighing by difference, as we've explained, involves repeated weighings of a weighing bottle containing a quantity of solid reagent. As the solid is removed to another vessel, like a whey paper or the actual glassware, the mass of the weighing bottle contents decreases. We would weigh out 8 grams of stearic acid and add it to our test tube. Once the water is ready, we can lower the test tube into the boiling water and melt the solution. We can add the thermometer in the test tube to ensure it was heated to the correct temperature. Next, we wrap the inner tube with a paper towel to create our insulating apparatus. Carefully place the inner tube into the larger test tube. Then we can monitor the temperature of the mixture as the phase change occurs from the liquid to a solid. We would take temperature increments for every 30 seconds until we observe a plateau. You can also note how the steric acid freezes.
The overall cooling curve looks like this. We do this three times, but once it has cooled and solidified again, we take apart the apparatus along with the paper towel and we clamp it back. We add our unknown fatty acid and we will reheat it to melt it. Once this is done, we will remove it from the water and rewrap the inner tube with a paper towel. We place it carefully in the larger test tube and take measurements again every 30 seconds. In the final part of this experiment, you would have made three additions of the unknown fatty acid to the pure steric acid solution. We showed you the first addition. It was mixed, melted, and the cooling curve was measured. The first addition was roughly 0.8 grams. The second addition of 0.8 grams of unknown was added to the same test tube and again melted and the cooling curve was measured. The last addition of 0.8 grams was added to the test tube, the same one as in previous trials melted and measured the cooling curve again. It is from these trials you will calculate the three different freezing points of the solution mixture. You will then calculate the molar mass of the unknown fatty acid. Hot glassware looks like cold glassware, and so keep that in mind. You can also keep in mind the SDS information of the fatty acids when handling the materials. All chemicals are safe to handle, but only if we are properly trained to do so. You should take note of the waste and where things should be disposed of. You'll be given appropriate mock data. Let your TA know if you have any questions. Good luck with experiment 13.